Hello all. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the calculated fields in Tableau. For that, I have downloaded and installed Tableau 2020.2 20, version. And I also have my calculated fields input saved in a folder. Right now, I'm doing it as a, a trail version. Uh, you could do a trail. If you are a student, you would get uh, a an activation ID that would last for a long time to your emails and you could use that. So whenever I open the Tableau, I see like this, and here I can connect my data through different sources. Um, you could connect through Excel, text file, JSON object, even access, PDF file, MySQL database, Oracle database, all these servers you would be able to do. And if you click here, you would have a wide variety of data sources that you could be able to connect to Tableau. However, we will be doing a simple um, Microsoft Excel input today for our demonstration. So you, you, select, you navigate to your appropriate folder where you save and selected calculated fields input. I'm going to put this in a description link open that. So once you open, you would be able to see all the data that you have. I have bread, jam, onion, cheese, tomato, ginger apples, butter, salt, pepper, and uh, coke. I have two columns, I mean three columns, product name, number of uh, units sold, and cost per unit item. Okay. Um, so here you see sheet one. So go to that worksheet, which is nothing but uh, you would be able to draw the graph and all. When you import the data, you would see uh, two different categories here. One is dimensions. The other one is measures. As you have seen in the data warehousing, dimensions are nothing but the qualitative uh, data or categorical information which are mostly with the subject values. For example, product name, product brand, something that you have in a descriptive thing. Uh, whereas measures are the quantitative or numerical values, which are nothing but the facts in the fact table of your data warehouse. Okay. So these are the two things that you would be able to see. So now I'm going to draw a simple graph for you to see product name in the rows and cost per unit item here, okay? You would be able to see this. And if you want to switch the axis, you could always go back and swap rows and columns. That way you would be able to get column chart. Um, you could uh, put the label with show mark labels so that you could see all the values of that particular thing. You could look here on the right hand side, show me. In the show me, you would see all different types of graphs that you could see. Uh, one thing is this one, uh, which is a column or bar. You can see just view that as a um, tabular format. So this would be by using highlighted, like a conditional formatting, high intensity to low intensity and all the product name and the size depends on the um, value of the cost and you call it as a packed bubbles chart. So with, the, with this simple data, you would be able to draw lots of charts here. If you notice, um, I'm just, uh, whenever we select this, you would be able to see something in the marks, the data has been added to the colors and all. I'm just taking out everything. And now it's kind of a fresh uh, worksheet again. So I want to show you this once again. Product name to be rows and number of units sold to be here. You can switch the rows and columns and we want this as a column chart. In the, in the row, in the marks, you would be able to see the type of graph. Automatically, you get the column chart here, and you would be able to see all the different types of charts too. And if you want to change the color, you could always change the color. And you have other options as well here. 
size. It's, it's a size of the column. If you want to reduce the size of the column, you could reduce and you could increase. If you want to increase, you could increase. But make sure you be it's a decent size. Label is something that you would be able to uh, show mark labels. And if you want any other text, you can write it here. But for now, I'm going to only show the labels of that. A product name and number of units sold. A bread items are sold this much. Coke items are sold 211. Tool tip is something that you would be able to see product name is the product name and number of units sold is this much. You know, it's already default. So whenever you hover the mouse onto the bar, you would be able to see the label. Okay, so which is a tool tip. Um, so this is a simple graph that you would be able to see. And if you want to do a calculated field, that means we are going to add an extra field. So for that, I'm going to add one more sheet here, which is sheet two, and right click in my measures. You see create calculated field. And in the create calculated field, I'm going to use total cost as my field name. In the total cost, I need to write my formula here, which is total cost is nothing but the number of units sold, which is number of units sold times cost per unit dollars. Okay. And you apply and click OK. So now you would be able to see total cost in the measures because measures is a numerical value that you would be able to see. Uh, and in the data source, now you get an extra column with the total cost, which is multiplied by the earlier two columns. Okay, so in the sheet two, I'm going to use my product name to the rows and uh, total cost to the columns. And again, if you have any confusion, just try in one of those. And if you do a couple of uh, practices and a uh, couple, of, couple of times, you would be able to see that. And you could switch the um, columns, uh, switch the column and row here. So basically you could be able to see these things with the total cost. Um, as I said, you could change whatever the color, whatever the size that you want. And here I'm going to change the label, not, not the label, okay? So label, I'm going to mark the label. And for the tool tip, I'm going to change instead of total cost, I'm going to put a dollar symbol. That way you would be able to see the dollar symbol in the tool tip. Look at that, product name, bread, total cost, dollar, 1,200, okay? And I'm going to visualize a tree map here, so which is a good thing. What are all the charts that are available for you in order to view this? Would be able to see under show me. So whatever was highlighted, you could be able to draw those graphs. And I would like to do a tree map. So you already know a tree map is the nested rectangles and the size represents the highest value, which represents the um, significance of that particular product here. Uh, even the categories of the product. So here, if you click on show me and you would be able to see the legend and click on this drop down list box. And if you want, you could edit the colors as well. And uh, this is automatic. And if you want, you could change that to red from lowest in intensity to highest intensity. Or if you don't want that, you could change to another color in two different colors, maybe orange to blue diverging. So this is another chart. If you want, you could be able to uh, do under presentation mode that you would be able to see everything that you could tell your story to your audience. Okay, so in, in this video, basically you have seen the demonstration of a simple chart with Tableau and calculated things. Okay, thanks for watching.